That's smart though, Monty. Status procs in the air are definitely like status procs like KO in the air or sleep in the air will definitely dunk the monster. Unlike some of the other aerial staggers you can get. So that's a nice guaranteed dunk. Yeah, status decays just like any game. Wind pressure? What? That's a thing? No way. It's not supposed to exist anymore. Get me out of here. Um, I don't think so, Fog. I was a little dumb. Oy. so cool. I don't know what it is about that third little swipe there. It just catches you so off guard. There are very few animations where the monster will like swipe and then swipe again at you. You know what's nice? It's been long enough, I don't even remember all the details of our Apex title experience. I know we had to do it with Gun, which was pretty miserable. Interesting. I haven't seen her do that move yet. Tipper boy? Oh. 
Marth saying at you. I feel like I'm slow, Ace. I feel like I just have to hit, get hit by the same thing like five times over and more. Just like, I was hit by so many things over and over and over until my brain finally goes, oh, I probably shouldn't approach that like this anymore, huh? I feel like there are people who are so much better at learning things like that. I, I, I'll take the compliment, I appreciate it. Hopefully me being a silly person and vocalizing all that on the stream is helpful then. <laughs> I do feel like I vocalize some of that stuff as I learn it. Like, okay, is she doing it here? No, she's not doing it here. <laughs> but thank you guys, that's kind. Maybe over time I'll get better at it. Maybe over time y'all get better at it too. It's probably a learned skill thing. I, I can't imagine there are that many people who can just intuit fights wholly in Monster Hunter just by watching it. Or like just, just by seeing something once. That's the point, Hyper Ray. No, cats, shoot. Ugh. Hang on. Is she leaving anyways? I think it sounded like she was. Yeah, she's leaving. We're getting close to the point, but not quite to the point. Like where I would consider upgrading my armor would be like, if just like the monster brushing past us was chipping off like two thirds of our health, that's not intentional. That's gonna make certain aspects of fights really a chore that aren't supposed to be that way. And that would make me think about upgrading. But as it is right now, it still feels like decent options from the monsters don't chip us that hard. Like they'll take off like a third of our health or half of our health, which is fine. And there are certain things on the monsters that are one-shotting us and that's cool. I'm down with that. Chip like that doesn't exist in this game. Eh. I mean, like, if smaller options from the monster, like little tiny swipes or bites, like if the the first bite from Rathian was doing like most of our health bar, I'd be I would not be okay with that. That would be a that would be a bother. What's even, what is even happening here? This is a this is an Apex Rathian. Oh gosh darn it! I didn't mean to do this. Um, fine, we'll just bonk him. Whatever. No! <laughs> Rejang, I'm gonna just peace. Bye. Both dragons look the same. Especially depending on the lighting, they can sometimes. I don't blame you, Netcode Creator. It's gonna be interesting, Hyper, if I ever reach either of those things. I probably will someday. Uh, I shouldn't have done this right here. The critique about the about the whatever it's called, the jumping thing, was was valid. You're so close to trying 140? I don't think I was that close.
I think sometimes I do do it as a way of getting over attacks then. Which isn't probably always the smartest idea. see a 140 share just to see how it is. I don't want to do that until I've experienced leveling one up for myself. Because I want that experience. I want to see what that was like to like solo level a 140 up for yourself. Does that stagger her or is she still going to do the tail flip? Okay, that staggered her out of it. Makes sense. Yeah, no, this is probably a roulette I shouldn't take. Yep. Surprised I lived that. It was maybe a defender proc. Don't know how you guys do it with the grinding. I mean, this is the first time I've fought this monster, so it's not grinding for me yet. Again, I probably shouldn't have done this. Okay, Hyper Ray, you've definitely pointed out something I need to work on. I mean the game itself, not just the monsters. I just have so much to do. <laughs> I just have so much to do. I think that if you were just doing one weapon or if you were like really set on one particular goal, like I'm gonna speed run this one monster, or I'm only gonna collect all of this one weapon, or I'm gonna fight every monster once with this one weapon and then be done, I can see how you get bored. Like, or you would, I don't know, just get tired of the game. But especially switching things around and kind of jumping around the different weapons and I don't know. I don't get bored about it. This stream was quite beautiful. How so, fish? Just lots of beans for you, or what? Ugly, slippery beef party. Probably felt content after village finishing the village quests. That's okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I've, If there's anything that I've learned from streaming the games for a few years and paying attention to how different people enjoy it, it's that there's just loads of different valid ways to enjoy Monster Hunter. And just dipping your toe in and seeing what each game is like is okay. You don't have to finish every fight. You don't have to collect everything. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Especially if you dip your toe in, you're like, you know, this monster hunter may be too fast for me. This monster hunter may be too slow for me. Like, oh, beautiful. I get it now, fish. Thank you. I thank you, Ice T. I don't think. I don't know. I would never I would never try and impose this series on anyone and be like, well, you gotta see just everything. Well, you gotta do everything. Otherwise, it's just like, you can't, it's just not proper. Like, I don't know. Got it again! Whoops. And then I missed the animation cancel. Oh. Ugh, just out of nowhere, dude. DPS loss. Ice T, you know my my middle name is DPS loss. That's not what I was going to originally say, but I like that. <laughs> Restretto DPS loss chronicles. That's me. <laughs> I'll add it as a quote in a minute. You're definitely glad that you finally took the time to buy it and enjoy being your first official Monster Hunter. Well, good. I'm glad, like, even if you played just some of it, I'm glad you still enjoyed the experience. Don't pet for sense of that one. I did. You're right. Sorry, I was laughing too hard. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the way that I currently play these games where, like, some of the time I'm just like, screw that mechanic. I don't like it. And some of the time I'm just like... <laughs> I'm not gonna use that crit boost skill yet. That seems too strong, just... <laughs> DPS loss just sounds like the perfect middle name. Yeah. 
I still am not good at dodging that. Like, the angles kind of catch me off guard. I'll learn them eventually, but the angles are catching me. We did it. Likely so, Fog. <laughs> we did it. DPS loss and all. <laughs> Neat. How do you feel about dodgeball? It seems interesting. I think you need to spec in Evade Extender if you want to make it feel okay to like move around the monster. Hey, what the hell? I can't get that. My guess is that came from an Alteroth getting poisoned and then dying before it could get down its hole. Neat. Bring it up because it's got a few more iframes. That it does. That's true. Okay, just to get this quote right, it was... Is this the quote? Okay. <laughs> well... Add a space after? Oh no! I can't edit quotes. <laughs>